Hey, my friends, it's your old pal, Tori the Lion, and the lovely Katie. Hey. I promised that she was going to meet me here, and uh, today we have an excellent, fun day because Katie is an amazing cook, and we've been invited to go over to Bruce Kulik's house, and Bruce and his wife Lisa are like pancake and aficionados. They have a pancake channel and um, do all kinds of stuff in their free time that you might not know about. So we're gonna go over and hang out with them today. Mm -hmm. Days with Jordan the Lion, Bruce Kulik, Lisa Lane Kulik, and my beautiful Katie. It begins now. I beg her to put the world famous guitar player, Bruce Kulik. Well, yeah, as you can see on the beautiful apron that he's wearing, yeah. Bruce was in Kiss, Grand Funk Railroad, many, many projects. And then his beautiful wife, Lisa, who is a kind of a world renowned artist in oh. her own right with, she <laughs> makes this amazing um, classic kind of movie music based bling art. And um, they've invited us over today to do a little pancake making. How'd you guys get into this? I know you, this is like a big passion of yours. Yes, it is. It's called the pandemic. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you, it's amazing the things you learn in a pandemic and then, uh, of course, I mean, we love being in our home and we have a beautiful home. We're very fortunate for that. But cooking, you know, and being in your own kitchen and having great food the way you want is, is there's, there's something to be said for that. So I know we were approached by some people who wanted to base some cooking things with us, knowing that we had the time and the desire to do it. And in this one, I've certainly said to Lisa, well, I can assist, but this is going to be, you know, primarily your thing. I mean, I used to cook a lot back in Studio City when she had this grunt job driving a, you know, a dental place, you know, every day. But here in the home, she's mostly home doing creative stuff. So she took this as another creative project. And during the pandemic, we were filming all these videos and things. Now that everything is normal, uh, the websites exist and they have all the content for all these recipes. We've even moved on to a cookie pie and a... And a What's the third? Fourth French one. toast. French toast one too. <laughs> awesome. So it's all out there, but um, it, it, it and we're Gene Simmons approved. You know. It is yeah, I heard that. that. I heard that he he made yeah. an announcement that yeah, he loved yeah. your pancakes. I mean, he requested pancakes, but I said, you know, what I mean, so I said so. Then that night when we saw him, she explained that well, they're not going to be warm. How do you bring warm pancakes to an event? You know, where, where you're performing at a at a convention room. You know. So anyway, they were quite the hit, and he loved it. And, you know, we just enjoy this and she's so, um, she puts her own love into everything she creates. And so many people now are looking for free entertainment, so they're combing YouTube, they're combing websites, and yeah. you guys start putting recipes on your websites. Yeah. So we're going to do that today. We're going to do one of your recipes, blueberry yeah. pancakes? We're going to do the classic fluffy pancake that's on our site. That was the general consensus is yeah. everybody loves blueberry pancakes. Now, how complicated is this for someone that's never cooked before? How many ingredients is it? Very, very easy, and we'll go through the ingredients and we'll whip some up. Excellent. And if you don't mind, you have a, a, another assistant. My beautiful Katie is going to help yes, with the. Uh, she's Katie. an amazing uh, cook on, herself, Katie. so <laughs> this should be fun. Let's see how the pancakes come out. All right, Lisa, how do we start this? All right. Well, because we have so many different recipes on our site, and here's the phone with my Q-Lick recipe site that we're going to make today. So we're going to make homemade fluffy pancakes and like I said, we're going to add blueberries. And if you're on our q -Lick pancake recipe site, you can click the video and see how they're made. So today, here's our ingredients. Jordan, you can show them so that they have that to refer to. But yes. We'll, we'll go through. All right, so two cups of flour is where we're going to begin. And I've got two mixing bowls, and we're going to do our dry first, and then we're going to combine with the wet and make pancakes today. So, two cups of flour to start. And can I, can I interject that we like to use depression glass? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a passion of yours, isn't it, yeah, Bruce? Yeah. Collector. That's that's, glass, this, right? Yeah, exactly. Jade, you know. And, yeah. and that's then, awesome. That's another... So if your pancakes... Your pancakes might have their own unique little taste just <laughs> from... <laughs> taste. Not sure if it makes it <laughs> different, but I, I love it. I mean, uh, Lisa and I, I, I remember um, Boulder City being, you know, really near here. And oh, I yeah. And a chance to go there with all the antique stores. I think you've been out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eric's got a lot of that's people right. that he's haggled to death yeah, out exactly. there. 
Okay, and what we say are so Sherman, right? Four, Sherman's? Okay. Yes, Sherman's. Four yes. teaspoons of sugar. Yay. Yay. Now, everyone, you can, uh, on the website, KulixRecipes.com, Pancake Recipes, there's variations. Whatever you need, if, if they're like, I can't use that, it explains how yeah. Oh, yeah, if you're gluten-free or something like exactly. that. Or, or I don't have an egg, or I don't yeah. have milk. There's all these different... There's a lot of choices that you, you probably, with whatever you got in the fridge, can, or even in the pantry, you'll be able to make some. Exactly. Okay. So what are Jean's uh, preferred pancakes? Blueberry. Oh, of course. Oh. Well, we're <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do a half a teaspoon of the baking soda. Now, you notice that these soft, rubbery things that she's got the plates yeah. under? Yeah. We found out during the pandemic when we filmed, so Lisa would go like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, oh. Not good. Not oh, good. yeah. Oh, not yeah. These things. I'm going, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, the little know. things you don't so think like, of. Honey, maybe we can, when, when we're showing this, we can make it a little more quiet. Exactly. <laughs> so she came up with that on them. All right, next is four teaspoons of the baking powder. Baking powder. Because we want these to be nice, big, and fluffy. Lucky. So, we do four of these. This makes me think of, um, do you guys ever go to Musso and Frank's? They always have famous for the pancake. Yep. I that's, haven't been there in a long that's time. That's when, when Katie and I go to uh, Los Angeles next, that's got to be our stop. We got to go to Musso. I went to the Smokehouse for the first time this last yeah, trip and I loved great. it. There's so many fine restaurants here and of course Los Angeles. Lately, I know like I, I'll have breakfast up to like maybe even one o'clock in the, in the afternoon. And I know, like, um, the last time we all went out, because uh, we had Lisa's son and One my... teaspoon salt. Yep. We went to our, <laughs> one of our favorite places in Vegas called the Bagel Cafe. That when Gene lived here for that short period, he was there all the time. And it's just a great place. They catered an event for Lisa and I that we get on New Year's. But uh, I, I didn't know what to have. You know, where meanwhile the kids are ordering, you know, knishes and, and, and giant uh, spinach uh, feta thing. I don't know what they were having. You yeah. had a uh, French toast, I mean, French dip sandwich. I ordered the pancakes because I was really curious what it would be like. Yeah. They were really good. I got a large egg. I'm going to go crack brownie. it at the sink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't do it there so we don't make a mess. So anyway, I don't make a mess. The pancakes, they were thinner than what I'm um, used to, at least is more fluffy or hardier, mm -hmm. harder one, hardier one. But it was really good. And it's just, I love that, that I'll actually. Hmm, now you're comparing it. Yeah, yeah, I could actually compare it because I really do feel that. You know, Lisa's created and some of these recipes are so good that, that we've really had, you know, delicious pancakes. And now, you know, and you know, when you're out eating, you never know. It, a place could be good, but you may not have the best yeah. that day or whatever. Or they didn't do one thing right or not. But uh, it was really good at the Bagel Cafe. I'm not surprised. Okay. Katie's really uh, spoiled me. One and a half Honey, cups of milk. Yeah. I do, yeah. I try. Good. She makes the best meatloaf I, I've ever had. Ooh. Amazing devil day. I mean, she's just an amazing cook. How much milk is that? One and a half cups. Now, how many pancakes will this batch that we're making right now make? Well, I like to make them rather large, so I find that I can make five to six. Okay. But if you make them just like regular size pancakes, you can come out with eight or so. Okay. Depends on your size, but yeah, I usually make like five big ones. Yeah, big ones. So is it um, is it in the works down the line, the uh, pancake little designer of Bruce's guitar? That, <laughs> that would be a great idea. Yeah, have one of Bruce's guitars as your pancake. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. I know they make like they do them with waffle makers, but you just put, put like a little template of like a cookie maker or Someone something. Someone shared. I know sometimes when we share the cooking stuff and when we mention the pancakes with Gene, um, it was back. Oh, actually, video really quick. Yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna do a quarter cup of the unsalted butter. So we're gonna use unsalted, and I'm gonna just melt a little while okay. you can carry on conversation. And then it'll just go in here with everything else. It will. That's doing the wet ingredients right now. Right. So video Bob had a, a, a some company actually made a Gene Simmons face waffle maker, oh which my is kind of fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course. Do, right? Yeah, of course. But you know. Uh, all this stuff just comes out, you know, the more attention you pay to it and then we, you experiment with it, it's just a lot of fun when you can create something delicious. Yeah. Home, you know? Are you hoping, I mean, I, I, are, is there like a plan to take this further as far as like uh, maybe prepackaged things in store? You know, it, I, I like know Newman, that, Paul Newman right, took his right. to uh, an extreme level. People have, have mentioned that would we and we're not that attracted to it i mean i'm trying to 
just stay really focused with the music. I also know from some people who on a smaller level, you know, decided they made great jams, they made great salsa and stuff. And then when it comes to actually offering that to the public, there's a million things you got to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Especially if you want to get it in a store. Exactly. Yeah. And that is not, a, a, it, this is a passion to share online that they can do it, but I don't necessarily, I don't think Lisa and I really have the desire to offer them products for it. Apron, sure. That's kind of cool yeah. too. I mean, you know, sometimes people always feel like um, everything is being done as a money maker. Sometimes like what you guys are, in, sometimes you're just sharing recipes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're just sharing the fun and the love that you have in your house together. Yeah. Okay, two okay. teaspoons of the vanilla. I mean, for me to be involved with this and knowing that my wife does it well and enjoys it, I just thought it was a, a fun sidebar in, in my life. And uh, it was fun when we were editing and playing around with the videos. You know, I was trying to have a little humor with it. But, but ultimately, when people search for um, a recipe, uh, it, it, maybe they want to be entertained, but the point is really to know how to do it. Yeah. And not, and not the, you know, uh, have the wrong ingredients or not make it successful. So the site is very clear about it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my wet and I'm going to combine them with my dry ingredients. Now, I know Lisa is great with pancakes, but I saw that you are the egg man. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that is true. And thank you for bringing that up. And I, and I only got exposed to that by going. That, that's that's going to be the next part of the uh, website is I, egg I recipes. I eggs are that much of a mystery, but it was funny when I made that short video, and all I did was say, like, we said, just film it, just film it, just do it. You know, it was, it was kamikaze style. It was so crazy because, you know, sometimes, you, you know, you're trying to get the beauty shots and everything. I didn't care. It was just like, go, you know, okay, now do it now. Now do it now, you know. And then when I wound up editing it, I, I realized I like to use elements of the Beatles song where, where he says, I'm yeah. an man. And that thing got so many hits. It was mm -hmm. so funny. And, and, but I, and then I entertained the people by saying just like, how do you like your eggs? I mean, Lisa and I like them just... Just my scrambled eggs, but there are people who love to yeah, put Yeah, but you yeah. do great omelets, it. don't forget. I do omelets, too. Whenever we have the, the band over or we want to celebrate something, I'm the omelet chef. But I, I don't care about I, doing an omelet. See, style. that's where I first heard about your guys' yeah. like yeah. great cooking ability was, uh, I think Eric was invited yes. over for a breakfast. I'm like, a breakfast? Like, do they cater? Right. He goes, oh, no, 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 yeah, no. I, they I, I they make eat. it there, so. Yeah, but it's funny. Lately, she doesn't want an omelet. She only wants my I, scrambled I'm eggs. I'm addicted so to the scrambled eggs. Yeah. So as you can see, I whisked my batter now, and it, you can see it's a little lumpy, which is what you want, because we need some air pockets and some little pockets of flour, which is really going to make things fluff up and be delicious. So now we just have to let it chill out a bit. How long? We have to just, you know, a couple of minutes. Okay. And nothing in the fridge. It's always good to let it chill out a little right. bit we'll before you throw it on okay. the stove. Okay. Are you heating the pan now? I'm going to. Okay, cool. <laughs> How long do you preheat your pan? Is that? I just go ahead and turn turn the uh, turn it on medium and just kind of let it sit there for a few minutes and then I'll splash some water on and we'll look at it. Because nothing worse than a burnt pancake, you yeah, know? No, 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 no. No burnt pancake. My first one is always the worst. <laughs> it's usually in the shape of a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Show it, love. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, it could have been a dinosaur, really. Right. Right. <laughs> well, they always taste delicious. So mm -hmm. Who cares what they look like? But I'm going to try to make them as pretty as I yeah, can we'll today. But we're doing. <laughs> look, the heating of the pan is real important. And what kind of pan? Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we have such a word. yeah, because some people like only want to use yeah. like you know. We saw a big difference. Loge pans. pans. And one day we experimented, well, again, it was the pandemic, you know, where are we going, right? So I'm like, no, no, let's, let's make one on this pan. Let's make one on this white one, you know, let's make one on this one. And then we found that that one made the best one that was uh, consistent. Now, again, it's just, maybe it's the size, maybe it's And it may depend on what kind of, if you're using a gas stove, true. electric yeah, stove too, because Katie loves to use my grandpa's stove, which is the, El yeah. they call it the Elvis. Okay. It's a Graceland oh, stove. amazing. Well, the heat does matter, you know, so so you should experiment with that. And I know with eggs, the only one that I love to, to cook with is a white one. It's like a different kind of enamel on it or whatever. And it works better than me making it there. And then for the omelets, I have a pan that I go, this is the one, that, that everything will stay together. I can flip it well and everything's gonna cook right. So that's always so perfect. Yeah, your tools are just as important yeah. as the ingredients. Somebody asked yeah. me, what's the difference 
Yeah. Well, that's why. That's what Video Bob, I think, wants you to come over because he yeah. he put a griddle in his house, yeah. and I think yeah. he would love to uh, yeah, we'll show it off with you. And yeah. we, I find that I like the pan. I mean, usually it's just the two of us or a few people over, and we can be patient, make it with the pan. Because sometimes I find with the griddle that it's not exactly even. We yeah, right. Like this one, yeah. and then I gotta like really concentrate on too many at a time. But this one, I can just concentrate on one at a time, make sure that they come out as good as they can. One is ready. I just sprinkled a little water right. on it a second ago, and it bubbled up, which means. I'm ready to go. All so right. I'm using some butter. Now, I like to use salted butter for this because I just... Any particular brand? No, nah, I use a, like a boutique -y kind of brand just because I like salted butter. But any kind of salted butter will work on your pan. And I usually do a more general, gen generous amount to begin just to get it good and ready to go. So Here's where she creates the size, right? Yeah, here's where we create the size. So I'm just going to start put a nice little dollop of the pancake batter and smooth it out into a circle best I can. Now, awesome. because this it. is the fluffy classic one, it's a little thicker batter than you're going to normally get, but you're going to get a nice thick pancake, awesome. almost like a dessert. And that's another tip I wanted to share with everyone. And now I'm going to put Leftovers. my blueberries in and just there you go. plop them down wherever you want. You don't even have to count. I just, Reminds I like them nice and juicy. And the moon with craters. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I used that in one of the videos. I took a shot of the moon. And so now we just have to be patient. Do you have a uh, normal time span that you try and cook each side or do you I, check them? How do I, you? Yeah, it, it's so hard to determine the best time to flip the pancake. So and I usually watch and when I see the top of this batter start to bubble a little bit. That's the tell. Then that's mm -hmm. the tell. Yeah. And then you want to start. That's how you find out who your friends are. Like, yeah. Based yeah. on it's like when yeah. do you flip? Yeah, when do you flip, exactly. <laughs> You're making that full batter for the two of us. There could be three yeah. at least left over. No, I'll, I'll keep it in the refrigerator for a couple of days. And I don't even use them for breakfast. I just like after dinner, they're, they're like a little great sweet treat. It's like after a pastry. Dinner. Yeah, I was going to say, can you, do you, have you ever tried putting in like muffin, you know, wrappers and cooking yeah. it like that? And just, just, just out of, you know, just out of curiosity for smaller batches yeah. and things. Mr. the creative I know he is creative. Or we'll freeze them. And I froze five of them yep. a couple of weeks ago. And when my son mm -hmm. and his wife were here, yep. we had pancakes and they can perfect. So I'll take a little peek and it's still not golden brown. Yeah, so we've got some yet. time. Yep. But yeah, it's, it, this is the part that- This is where Bruce goes and grabs his guitar and plays the interlude yeah, music. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> plays the Johnny Carson. And I usually get nervous in the beginning one because, like Katie said, the first one can get a little it's darker. Ugly pancake syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> it, and so I'm like over cautious and I'll, I'll just kind of like keep upping the heat a little bit till I know that. Well, do you think it also because it gets the majority of the that first dab of butter? It could, but you know. it's just, it's a nice, freshly heated pan. Yeah. I think we're ready. Oh, you're ready for me to try to try, try master it. flipper here. Right, now I'm gonna get out that. of the way. Where's, where's the heavy part? Drum roll. This side this side. You <laughs> choose. You choose. I, I choose. Whoa! All right. I didn't Perfection. think about it. I just did Perfection. it. Perfection. I used instinct, and actually, it didn't get too brown. Yeah, really. it's looking good. Yeah, perfection. You know? So now we're. Katie's just... really fascinated with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. I mean, that's oh, a perfect yeah. golden brown right now. It is. The proudest moment when we did the videos was like, after they were all done, all right, which one's the roundest and most perfect? We have to feature yeah, exactly. the photo. Yeah, which yeah. one's the, the yeah. cover photo? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now there is, look, I, we did this really, uh, it was organic and real people doing it. But you know in the food network and uh, the industry of food and recipes, the quality of the photography and how they set up yeah. these shots are Oh yeah. Great, okay, it's like, it's like a million dollar commercial. So every time you want to Google something and you see these, even our sites have amazing pictures. They're not all ours, you know. You just can't compete with that because you can't make it look too real, you know. Now in this, you watch our video, you see the real thing, but 
But I'm just always blown away when they show the burger, you know what yeah. I mean? And they show the, the food and everything's glistening just the right way. It's just crazy. It's right? gotta be, I would say, what, three quarters of an inch thick? Yeah, I like them thick. She likes it thick, yeah. And then we're gonna put the Madonna, gonna the gonna Madonna put... breast uh, <laughs> dome. <laughs> it's my vintage you remember that, topper. Right? So here is the finished stack. All right. Yes. I am excited. It's a big Enough for all of us. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for having us over. Oh no, this is exciting. I know, like when I film this stuff, it's, we have a lot of people that watch, so for me it's like, they get to have breakfast with you guys too. So I think that's kind of cool. You just never know who's watching, who doesn't have someone to have breakfast with, and they turn this on first thing in the morning, they can watch it and have it with us. Okay, so. Excellent. Yeah. I'm the messiest I think, I was about to say, Katie's got the lightest like... brownest one of all. Hers got very golden. <laughs> Lisa, I'm not just saying this. That might be the best pancake I've ever had. Yay! Yeah. That is unbelievably good. Look how thick that thing is. That is amazing. The first time I actually met Lisa and Bruce was over with uh, Eric Singer because Lisa had made Eric and I both some really amazing bling Elvis art. And she's really progressed since then. Look at this Jean Harlow that she had done. The detail is just absolutely amazing from everything on her face and the to the feathers. clothing, the feathers. I mean, yeah, that's amazing. And then this one, this really popped and caught my eye the way you did this. That is so cool. And then I mentioned that Eric and I both got an Elvis. This was the one that we got. Except ours were about four times the size. We couldn't go anything smaller than gigantic for Elvis for us. But look how awesome that is. And she has another really amazing Elvis one here that caught my eye. Check this out. Now take a look at this one. Look at the eyes, look at the jewelry, look at the shirt, the tie. That is incredible, I love it. Lisa's very popular in the KISS community for these. As you can imagine how many cool looks she can do with not only Bruce, but all the eras of KISS. But look at this. Shirley Temple with the lollipop. And her whole dress, everything, her hair. And then Ann Wilson. Look at all the purple and it's all kind of glittered. You put it in a room with just great lighting and it's just going to shine everywhere you walk. Looks great. James Dean. This is, I love this photo because this was his last fill up in Los Angeles. He lived just blocks away from there. That was his last place and that was the last ride on his way out to the race. He never made it to. God, that is beautiful. That car. Some people say that car is cursed. I don't think it was. God, that looks great, Lisa. You even did his shirt. Look at that. <laughs> you really get in there. He's got a gold shirt, gold sunglasses. That's probably, I would, what, 91? Probably a 91-ish. 90, Maybe 92? 92, 93. Or Revenge, Bruce? 92 or 93, depending on if he's on tour. That's really cool. Such a colorful era in Kiss. All the way down to the jackets and everything. Yeah, that would be 92. Because yeah. that's like for the album. She made it colorful. Then of course, that one is Debbie Reynolds. Look how great that looks. The dress and everything. One of the things I noticed that you do, Lisa, is that you, uh, you don't always stick to exactly the patterns they're wearing, which I think kind of is cool because it kind of brings out some of the beauty and everything else. Like this. Look how detailed that is. Well, I looked up online what her favorite colors were, and that's what came up. So I decided to go with the favorite colors and just give it my own take on what I think would look beautiful. This might be the one that really just, <laughs> wow, look at that. Those slippers have to be some of the most famous things in pop culture history. Wow, maybe I spoke too soon. The singing in the rain is pretty amazing too. Look at that umbrella and the raincoats. That is incredible. Lisa, how long would something like this take you from beginning to end to 
to me. Mm, it's hard to say because each one takes their their own time, but I'll do it in like two hour spurts and take a break. But something like that to do the umbrella and because I do them in different sections it would probably take me about three days. And you do different sizes. I know you could probably do this three times this size yes, if you wanted to. I could. That's amazing. Hey, so these are some leftover fluffy blueberry pancakes that my beautiful <laughs> wife created. And uh, that could be for what? Dessert? Dessert. Or frozen. I like to eat them for dessert. Yeah, yeah but, and she's pretty, that's pretty uh, smart actually. It's, it's, <laughs> it is yummy. It's like, it's like a, a pastry, so it's anyway. Nice. But, um, I know that you guys enjoyed the food, and so did we. Oh, it was amazing. So remember, Culex pancake recipes. And How do they get the apron? Because I know you have KISS fans are <laughs> amazing collectors of yeah. everything. They're going to want a Bruce exactly. cooking well, actually, apron. There are some aprons that you can buy from the BruceKulik.com website, but you could win an apron, yeah. and there's all the details about that that's on the website. The, you know, the Culex pancakes recipe. recipe. Uh, okay, it you just has to do with mentioning our site and sharing it with people. And there's a way that you can win. What's the exact site for people that are going to go there right after this? Well, this is culixpancakerecipes.com yep. for pancakes. But we also have French toast, cookie, and pie sites mm -hmm. all separate, which I'll start with culix, you know, French toast recipes.com. So that is awesome. You can just go ahead and Google Bruce Culix and you'll see him. You'll find it. Yeah. yeah and each of the pages actually have on the bottom where you can visit the other cooking yes. sites. So if you start and, with pancakes, yeah. you can eventually work your way through the other three. Right. So That's awesome. Look, and don't look on YouTube. Just It's an actual website. Okay. Although there is content on YouTube of us cooking and things related to the website. But it's really the website. The recipes, yeah, there. there. There's hands and pans. There's there's actual like what she showed you earlier when she was cooking. You know all the directions and details and uh, some fun content about us too. How we got awesome. So. Well, thank you so much for having us over, welcoming us into your house and and, and into your kitchen. I mean, that's not something that uh, everybody gets to do. So I think I hope everybody enjoyed this as much as we did. Thank you for uh, being you guys, being so fun and personable. And I hope everybody enjoys your pancakes. Right. We're gonna that's call it a day here. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah.